We are going to write an equation of a line that passes through the point 3, 8 and 6, negative 7. We can use the slope-intercept form. I need the slope, the little m, and I need the y-intercept. Or I can use the point-slope form. y minus y sub 1 equals the slope times, in parentheses, x minus x sub 1. But no matter which formula I use, for point slope, I need the slope. For slope intercept, I need the slope. Therefore, it would be a good idea to know the slope formula y minus the y from the other point divided by x minus x from the other point. Your y's are on top. Everyone always forgets that. We also know that the slope is rise over run. And it's the y-axis that will rise up and down. It's the x-axis that runs left and right. So let's get to work. First of all, I want to find the slope of this line. So the slope will equal the y minus the other y. So that would be negative 7 minus 8 divided by 6 minus 3. In the numerator, negative 7 minus 8 is a negative 15. In the denominator, 6 minus 3 is just 3. My answer is negative 5. Ooh, we have a negative slope. OK, so what I did was this y minus the y from the first point. That is just fine and dandy, as long as when I do my x's, I start with the same point. So I did the x in the second point minus the x in the first point. And I know what you're wondering. What if little Johnny wanted to start with the first point? Well, that's just great. Let's do that. So I would do the y in the first point minus the y in the second point. The y in the second point happened to be a negative. Then the x in the first point, I started with the first point again, minus the x in the second point. In the numerator, don't forget, minus a negative becomes a positive. That would be 8 plus 7 is 15. Divided by 3 minus 6 is a negative 3. 15 divided by a negative 3 is still a negative 5. We still got the same slope. And that's not magic. That is mathematics. One other little thing I want to show you. Okay, let's just jot this down. I had a point 0.38. I also had the point 6, negative 7. If I just drew a quick line through there, it does have a negative slope. I didn't make a careless error. OK, so we have found out that the slope was negative 5. And now I'm going to write the equation of the line. I'm going to use point slope form. Now, does this say point point slope? No, it's just point slope, not point point slope. I don't need both of those points. Just pick one. I don't care which one you use, just pick one. I will pick the first one, 3, 8. So I'm going to write my equation. This is y, really y, just y. Minus y sub 1 means pick a y from your point. That's equal to the slope times in parentheses, don't forget that parentheses, x, really x, just x. Minus x sub 1 means x from your first point. Now I do not care which x you pick or which y, but just make sure you pick the x and the y from the same point. Point. So I will have y minus the y from your point is equal to the slope times x minus x from your point. I will do a little bit of distributive property. Now, did your teacher tell you to get it in slope-intercept form? Well, if she did, get y by itself. That means I'm adding 8 to both sides, and I will get y is equal to negative 5x plus 23. And I'm done. If your teacher said, oh, I don't want it in slope-intercept form, I want it in standard form. Standard means make it look really pretty. x and y's are on the left. Put the x first, then the y. If there are any fractions, multiply through, get rid of those fractions. In this case, I have my x on the right. So I would add 5x to both sides. Remember, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So in standard form, I will have 5x plus y. That will equal 23. That is standard form. Now, you can turn off the video now if you would like to, because we have worked the problem. But 
I am going to show you something else. If you want to stick with me, let me slide this answer right up here. And you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it a different way. I love doing it two ways. This time, we are not going to use the point 38. We are going to use the point 6, negative 7. Let's go very quickly. y minus the y in your point. It's equal to the slope times x minus the x in your point. Carry on. That will be y plus 7. Those two negatives. A little distributive property on the right. To get it in standard form, I'm going to quickly add 5x to both sides. And very quickly, I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. I'm getting my variables on the left. I will have 5x plus y and 30 minus 7 is 23. Would you look at that? And that's not magic. That is mathematics. So the first thing you need to do is find the slope of your line. And then you can put it in point slope form. 